So welcome back to Magical Vacation Memories. Today we're going to do a little something, a little off topic from what we normally do. But uh, it's going to be an unboxing of our new business tool here. Um, so we're getting into doing some 4K video editing and, and whatnot. So we decided it was time to upgrade our six-year-old laptop for something a little more modern that will be able to handle the uh, resolution and requirements of editing the videos we're going to be shooting. So today we are going to do the unboxing of our new Asus uh, Tough Gaming F15 laptop. This is an Intel Core i5, 8 gig of RAM, 512 SSD drive, um, 144 hertz display. And uh, it's also got an NVIDIA 3060, I believe, uh, video card and with 4 gig of RAM on that. So, without further ado, let's have a look inside the box. So. Inside the box, we've got this little card that's in here. Just a little info about the laptop. We got some manuals in here. Stickers. Ah. Aha! Here's the power bar. Holy, that's a substantial power bar for this. Uh, I was not expecting anything quite that large compared to what we currently have for our old laptop, which is teeny tiny. And over here is the plug. So your standard three-prong plug. Uh, I don't think there's anything else in here. Nope, nothing underneath. So there's the box. And now here's the laptop. So yes, we've got the Intel Core i5. Oh, the battery's probably dead, so we will have to plug it in. Give it a bit of a charge. Full keyboard, full number pad. Uh, keyboard is backlit. And I think there's even, I'm not 100% sure on this one, but I think around the bottom edge, if it's the one I was thinking of, there'll be LED lighting that's around the bottom. Um, it is fully upgradable to larger hard drive, more RAM. Um, on the side, we've got uh, proper ethernet, We've got HDMI, USB-C, two USB-3 on this side. On the other side, we have another single USB. So, yeah. is that? I don't know if that is or not. It looks like an SD card slot, but I don't believe so, because I don't think this, this wasn't listed as having an SD card slot in it, so I don't believe it does. We can use mine as there is the light. Yep. To imply, imply that it's charging. And it even has the tough logo and stuff on the top. Oh, and tough see. gaming. Alright. Let's see. There's our disco. Fun and fancy keyboard that's multiple colors. I think I will pick either blue or off because I'm not really sure I want it dancing colors. But I would have dancing interesting, colors, but to say the least. Or that light color. Oh, <laughs> or not. Or, okay. There we go. Asus in search of incredible. But yes, it does have a 144 hertz display. Full 1080. Um, so the display on this isn't 4K, which I haven't found too many notebooks at this point in time that 
do have that so I'm not shocked at that in the least but uh, yeah so we'll see if this aids in uh, helping us with rendering and editing our higher resolution videos because this is going to be a lot faster um, based on components that are in it over our old AMD A9 with a 256 gig drive. This also has Windows 11, so I'm going to be kind of curious to see what that's all about because I am not familiar with Windows 11, haven't used it yet, so this is going to be something new. Set this to the right region, being that it's we're in Canada, not in the US. Uh, I think I'll just stick with US even though words will be spelled incorrectly I'll have to fix them because with the Canadian multilingual you'll hit certain keys and you'll get the French characters and whatnot so it's just easier to avoid that. Nice solid feeling keyboard, that's for sure. And then we have we have uh, we have Meg's uh, laptop as well that we can use. She's got an HP. It also has a Core i5. Um, does have the. Uh, Definitely has some options for um, transferring, like from our SD cards, we can throw the the videos on there if we need to, and then transfer them via Bluetooth between the two computers, um, just in case that becomes an issue. And but it shouldn't be a problem. It. Yes, <laughs> and stickers all over it, yes. <clears throat> and mine's also a touch screen, which I like. Darren does not. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the touchscreen displays. Um, that's not my not my cup of tea. Yes. Colorado. Yes, Drew. with the Welcome to Colorful Colorado. So, this will be used as a count picture in yep. video storage. Yeah, we definitely can use that for backups for other things. But yeah, the old the old girl, it's time to put her out to pasture. Use her as a whatever, a backup just in case if anything happens, but six years is pretty good for me. So yeah. But yeah, it's six years old, so it was it was time to time to put her out, put her out of her misery. All right. Um, if anyone has any comments about this particular laptop, um, any advice, tips, anything like that, we'd be grateful to hear from you. Uh, again. We need 